family we've gathered here this afternoon to be a part of and witness the marriage of Tyler and Liz. What a great occasion. Thank you for the beautiful weather except for the wind. It's been a wonderful day and yesterday as well in preparing for this. Thank you all for being here. Will you bow with me for prayer as we begin? Mm -hmm. Father, thank you for today. I thank you so much for this occasion that brings us together. To be able to be a part of this ceremony as we witness Tyler and Liz as they become man and wife. Father, I'm so thankful for the family members and friends that have come to share in this occasion. And Father, just let it be a joyous time. Let it be a time that we celebrate life and love and the commitment that Tyler and Liz have made to one another. But most of all, Father, may it be a, a blessing to them that they do this in your presence so that they will feel that they are committed not to just themselves but to you, Father, in the words that they have already shared with one another early or privately and the words that they will share publicly with you today. Please be with them, Father, and bless them, and let this service be everything that they have planned for. I pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Marriage is a sacred bond. It's sacred because it was created by God in the Garden of Eden. He had created the man, and he said, something's missing. And so he caused a, dark, a deep sleep to fall on that man and took from his side a bone and fashioned it according to his own likeness, called it woman. And he presented that woman to Adam to be his helpmeet from then on. Notice he took that bone from the side, not from the head or the feet, so one would have the dominion over the other. They'd be partners, sharing together in this relationship that you begin today as husband and wife. In fact, the very first recorded miracle of our Lord Jesus Christ was at a marriage ceremony like this. The wine was running out and he got water and turned it into wine. But he showed how important the marriage ceremony and the gathering of friends and family are. And so today we celebrate that as well. It'll be a great occasion today, but it will be made even greater with the commitment that you make to one another today from this day forward. Who gives this woman to be with? Well, Tyler is finally here. Uh, I know you've been looking forward to this day. It's been a day that we've all planned for. It's a time that we were excited about, nervous about, anxious about, worried about, giggling about, all of those things. It's finally here. And you get to make this day special going forward. I want to share with you a poem today. At least I said I did if it didn't blow away. Uh, if you'll take hands if you don't mind while we're doing this. When the one whose hand you're holding is the one who holds your heart. When the one whose eyes you gaze into gives your hopes and dreams their start. When the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight and the things you plan together make the whole world seem just right. When the one whom you believe in puts their faith and trust in you, you've found the one and only love you'll share your whole life through. That's what your family and friends wish for you. Something that will last throughout eternity because of the commitment you make to one another. The Apostle Paul said it this way Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, 
It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Paul said at the end of that passage, the three things that remain are faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. That's the love I charge the two of you to let grow in your hearts and in your relationship to one another. Tyler, I guess I've been your pop for a lot of years. We've shared a lot together, stolen a lot of my tools, <laughs> you know, used up, broken down a lot of my cars, uh, but it's been a fun ride. And I was so honored to be asked to do this with you today. I'm excited too because I know your Taki is watching you today. That's special. I knew you would work hard and the right person, and you did. She put up with you <laughs> during all that time that you were engaged, which told me everything. With all the little things that can happen, Liz was there for you. And I knew then she was the right one. And Liz, I knew he would be picky. I knew that. I knew that he would be the one. I know you want to get that hair from Bob. <laughs> I knew that he would be one that sometimes would be, uh, let's just say, challenging to be with. But that's why that one year engagement was so important. Because you learned about each other. You learned about what you liked and didn't like, what made you happy and not happy, what made you feel like this was gonna work and what made you say, what am I doing? But you picked the right man and he picked the right lady. And I'm so proud to be a part of that today. And I just pray that God will bless you as you begin your journey together as husband and wife. I charge the both of you before God and all these witnesses to think very seriously about the vows you're about to make to one another. I know earlier you expressed your personal vows, but these are vows that your friends and family are going to hear you say of what you mean to each other and what you pledge to each other. And I charge you to let them be the words that come from your heart that will last forever. So Tyler, repeat after me. I, Tyler, take you, Liz, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to love, honor, and cherish, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, as long as we shall live. Liz, now you repeat after me. I, Liz, take you, Tyler, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, as long as we shall live. You see that about rich or poor is real important right now because it's more on the poor side. Uh, that we pray only if he had run up back over the dog, that's right. So, but it's the commitment you make, they're not just words. See, we can laugh because they are the true commitment of your heart. What do you give to each other as a pledge of that commitment that you've made? Yeah, you're turning it around. Uh, we kept it, that's right. Notice it, look at it with me for just a moment before it's exchanged. You notice the ring is a never ending circle. May it represent to you the never-ending love and commitment you just made to each other. It's 
made of a precious mineral. May it represent how precious that commitment is. Sometimes you'll be separated, that you'll be doing things different from one another. But you can always look at that ring on your finger and be reminded of the commitment you made today. So I charge you as you exchange this ring to listen carefully to what you say to one another because it will be what you can remember when you look at that ring every day. So Tyler, take your ring, place it on the third finger of Liz's left hand and repeat after me the vow of the ring. This ring I give to you in token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. And with this ring, I thee wed. Okay, Liz, you place it on the third finger of Tyler's left hand. As long as the bee doesn't get you. I know. <laughs> All right, if you'll repeat after me. Tyler may have to slide it yet to help. Okay. This ring I give to you in token and in pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. And with this ring, I thee wed. For as much as the two of you have pledged one to the other, your constant faith and abiding love in the presence of God and these witnesses and have committed that by exchanging rings one to the other by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel but most importantly in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord I pronounce you husband and wife what God joins together let no man put asunder let's pray Father you have heard the commitment that Tyler and Liz have made to one another. I pray, Father, that these words sink deep into their heart, that they be reminded daily of the commitment they made through the good times, through the tough times. Be with them, Father, and let them rely on that commitment they made. Father, I pray you'll be with each of us who are their friends and family that we'll be there for them when they need us, but we'll leave them alone when they need to be alone so that they can grow together as husband and wife. Father, we're all going to celebrate after this ceremony, this great occasion, enjoy a meal together. We thank you for that. But Father, most of all, we thank you for the love that we see today between Tyler and Liz and their family members. And I'm thankful for that, Father. And I'm most thankful that Jesus Christ, our Lord, brought them together and is keeping them together. Bless them, Father, from this day forward. I pray through Christ, amen. Tyler, for the first time, you may kiss your wife. You want it for the picture. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Okay, wait a minute. We're not going yet. Okay, just face the audience if you would, please. Okay, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. It is the greatest honor to present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Tyler DeMumbry.